Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and Why. Tonight, we have some Marcosite Sterling vintage pieces with prices. I showed these quite some time ago, but these I'm actually putting prices on now and some clearance items. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn, my husband's name is Barry, and we are part-time resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. If you see something in this video that you are interested in, just send us an email to mhl22 at ymail.com. We will send you an invoice. In that email, all you need to do is send us a screenshot or timestamp of the item you're interested in, the date of the video or name, and we will send you an invoice. If you haven't purchased from us before, be sure to send us your mailing address because we need that to determine how much your shipping will be. If it's in the United States, it's $5 under a pound. If it's anything over a pound or outside the United States, it is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. So let's dive into this, see what we can find, and have a good time seeing some jewelry. Oh, one thing I did want to let you guys know is I ask in the comment section if somebody could explain what those little rubber clear and black and white uh, bracelets are that we come across so often and we're not sure what they are. The other night we found one in that jewelry picture and actually one of our wonderful subscribers did tell us what it is. It is a Lokai, L-O-K-A-I, um, bracelet. It's a New York-based jewelry brand that markets itself as socially responsible lifestyle brand. And the company currently produces bracelets, and the, the Lokai bracelet carries elements from the highest and the lowest points on Earth. Water from Mount Everest in the white bead, representing the high points in life and mud from the Dead Sea in the black bead, signifying the difficult moments. These extreme elements provide a daily reminder of balance to stay humble through those highs and hopeful through those lows. The company donates 10% of net profits to charitable organizations. So I thought that was interesting. We asked for some help. A subscriber gave it to us, and now we know what those little bracelets are and what the meaning is behind them. So, as always, wonderful subscribers that we have. Thank you so much. So, let's get on to see what these pieces are all about. Here we have a vintage crystal. Aurora Borealis, just glass. It is stretch. I just think that is gorgeous with all those beads. I am, like I said, seven and a half and it fits me. So I'm gonna say, let's do $8 on this one. Beautiful. These are beautiful. I love the blue green color of these with that gold um, in it with the gold beading. It has the hidden clasp like so. Such beautiful color. It's a double strand. Eighteen inches. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. So I'm just gonna say let's do let's do nine dollars on this one. This one is a double strand dyed shell or um, blister pearl. It has blue and black beads. Like I said, it is a double. It's 16 inches with a two and a half inch extension. So I'm just gonna say, let's do, oh, that's beautiful color. I'm gonna say, let's just do $6 on this one. This is New Moon. It is 
trademarked Summit Entertainment. And this is the New Moon. This is the Colin Crest. Isn't that cool? It's $45 online. So if you have somebody in your family that is a Twilight Saga fan, this is for them. Like I said, it's $45 online. So I'm going to say let's do $20. Perfect for the Twilight fan. These are beautiful. Um, two X's with rhinestones, gold tone. Really good condition. They are post earrings. So I'm going to say let's do $7. These are pretty. They're hand painted, you can tell. They're on brass backs, clip on. They are a green with blue marbled. So let's say, say $7 on these. These are beautiful buttons. And this one surprised me that it didn't sell. Um, this is not signed. It's just a green um, a faux abalone um, necklace. It has a heart. It is a panel necklace. With the extension, it is 16 inches. So I'm going to say let's just do $7. Very pretty. This is pretty. This is a leaf ring. It is adjustable. Right now it is sitting at a three and three fourths and it's missing no rhinestone and it has faux marcasites. So I'm going to say let's do $7 on the ring. And these, I think, are spectacular. They are wire choker break, uh, faux pearl. Look at those beads. They are just beautiful. They're gray and um, Aurora Borealis with a matching bracelet. It fits any size. Just gorgeous. So for the two pieces, I'm just going to say $6. We have this mother of pearl heart. It fastens really nicely. It isn't marked inside, but it is a locket. One inch by one inch, $5. Here are some pieces that I never gave prices on. I did show them. These are exquisite. This is a Marcosite Sterling Silver Cameo. This is gorgeous. You can tell that it's real. This is definitely Art Deco. Look at that hook. It says Stir, S-T-E-R. And on this one, it says Sterling right here. There's the flashlight so you can see right through. Isn't that beautiful? That face is exquisite. So this one I'm going to do, like I said, this is Art Deco, and this is just stunning. I'm gonna say $100 on this piece. Beautiful. And it is a paper clip chain, sterling, and it is 17 inches to the tip right here right here and that is just beautiful this one is a tulip i don't see any missing rhinestones this one is signed it's signed 925 right here just beautiful i'm gonna say let's do $30 on that piece. Just exquisite. This is probably from the 30s. It is a small extended roller clasp, safety clasp. Just beautiful. Love that. Here we have a wreath with a 
I believe these are garnet. Beautiful. Yep, they're open in the bag. So this just generally tells you that they're gemstones. It's a roller clasp. Aren't those gorgeous? None missing, no missing marcasite. 13 garnet, just gorgeous. Let's do 45 on that one. Here is a little adorable Scotty dog or Schnauzer. He has marcasites and he also has little faux marcasites on him. He is signed 925 and JC. He's from the 40s. And let's say $40. Here we have a Judith Jack angel cherub holding a banner, very detailed. This is probably the newest piece that we have in this grouping. You can even see the little toes, it's so cute. I would say that this is probably from the late 70s, early 80s. It's signed JJ Sterling, made in Thailand. So I'm going to say, let's do $25 on the cherub. And the last piece we have is this beautiful necklace. It is a lobster class. Uh, this is from the 70s. These are just rhinestones, red rhinestones. Very pretty. Little flowers with marcasite, little beads in between and there is actually i believe it's one's right here yeah so just one that i can find it is beautiful construction i don't see a name it is sterling I'm trying to see where the sterling is marked on this one i'm not seeing it so let's test this one and there's the blue in case you can't see it there you go So since this one has the one missing marcasite, I'm going to say let's do, um, did I say how, much, how long this was? This is 16 inches. So I'm going to say let's do $20 on this one. Very beautiful still. Well, there you go. These are some beautiful pieces. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Definitely in the comments, tell us what you thought about it. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe below. If you saw something you're interested in, definitely send us an email to mhl22 at ymail.com and we will send you an invoice. Also, be sure to ring that bell to all so you are notified the next time we have a new video out. And those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much. We definitely appreciate you. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.